Hey everybody, it's Brad at Dayport Brothers LLC out in Versailles, Ohio. Going to do another walk around video followed by an operational video on this 2002 Bobcat S185 that came in and we're putting up for sale. Like always, I'll walk around, I'll talk about the features and functions, I'll get up close to it, show you everything I see, talk about everything that I know. And then of course we'll fire it up, let you hear the engine, show you uh, the pins up at the bucket, let you see it lift up, show you the hydraulics are strong. As always, if you are in the market for a used skid steer, a used piece of construction equipment, or a used piece of farm equipment, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Your likes and subscriptions help other people who are looking for machines find our videos and find our machines, and we truly, truly do appreciate it. All right, like I said, this is a 2002 Bobcat S185 with only 943 original hours. Cranks right up, runs good, the hydraulics are strong. It is manual connect. It's nice and tight up here. You'll see that here in a little bit, as it should be. Sticks and pedals, obviously pre-emissions Kubota diesel engine, which is by far my favorite engine. All right, I'll kind of get up close to everything here. As you can see, the, the white paint is still very bright. There's a little bit of paint chipped off in some spots up here on the loader arms. Nothing out of the ordinary for a used skid steer, but overall very, very bright paint. Very straight. Tires are probably 30% or so. Front rim, there's a little bit of surface rust. It is a 20 some year old machine, but nothing out of the ordinary. Actually pretty, pretty nice again for a 20 some year old machine. Back here is really, really good. There's not very many scratches. There's a few little ones, but retains almost all that white paint back here, even down back behind the tire. Coming down this side, there is a little bit of paint starting to peel here on the edges, on the back corners. Again, nothing out of the ordinary. The back door is faded like a lot of them are, but it is very straight. I don't see any big dings in the door like it's been backed into anything. A couple little scratches down here at the bottom, but actually even down here in that bottom, that bottom piece is really straight. That top shield is very, very straight. A little bit of a dent there in the exhaust tip. All right, everything's good here. Again, bright white paint. The decals, the original decals look really good. A couple little scratches, nothing out of the ordinary. Tires on this side match up really well. Tread life's about the same. Rims are about the same. Same thing with this tire and rim. Again, back here, that white paint, very few little scratches, still nice and bright. Again, even back behind that wheel, still retains most of the paint. I do not see any cracks or welds anywhere on the loader arms or the skid steer plate. Paint peeling just a little bit here on the edge. The bucket is in good shape overall. No big dents or bows in that bucket. It's nice and straight. Now we'll go back and look at my favorite part about these machines. The beautiful blue pre-emissions Kubota engines. Other than the rain that's on here, which you can see a little bit of water, as you see in the background, it's rained a lot here. But the actual engine is nice and dry. There's no oil or diesel sitting on top of it. There's no oil or diesel running down the side of the block. Very clean. Everything looks really good here. Inside of the back door is really nice and straight. Take a look inside the operator station here and at the front face plate. Up front here, just a little bit of paint peeling there, chipping off. But this front's very, very clean, very straight. 
Same thing here. Most all of the original grip tape is still on here. The seat is in decent shape. No real big cuts or tears in that seat. Floor mat or floorboard rather and your pedals are in good shape. We'll sit down in here. Your operating pedal or sticks are in good shape even though most all the little rubber knobs are still on here on both sides. Just overall a very, very nice machine. Oh. 943.8 hours. Everything up here looks really nice. Those cylinders are good on both sides. That step is really nice and straight. A lot of times you see those get crinkled up. Everything's just really darn nice on this machine, which it should be, 943 hours. All right, like I said, it's a 2002 Bobcat S185, 943 hours. We'll fire it up and get right into an operational video.